Resistance. We define the current density of a conductor as the current per unit perpendicular area. So we use J to denote current density. It is the current that flows per area, cross-sectional area A. Now remember that current was uh, basically the charge Q for each charge carrier, uh, carrier density N, drift velocity VD multiplied by area. So if I divide this by area, I will obtain basically Q N drift velocity VD. Now, what is the unit of current density? Current is measured in amperes. So amperes divided by meter squared. That's the unit of SI unit of current density. In most metals, ohmic metals and many other materials, the current density J is directly proportional to the electric field E. The proportionality constant is sigma. So it's J is equal to sigma times E. This is known as Ohm's law and sigma is a material dependent and temperature dependent quantity. It's electrical conductivity. Now, if I have a conductor, a segment of a conductor that has length L uh, with two sides at potential plus V and minus V so that the electric field points from uh, left to right. Uh, and uh, this means that I have the potential difference delta V between the two ends, which is V plus minus V minus is equal to electric field E multiplied with L. Remember, electric field E is minus gradient of the potential. So uh, the current density J is the current I divided by the perpendicular area A. It is equal to sigma times the electric field according to Ohm's law. And since the electric field is delta V divided by L, it is also related to the potential difference sigma times delta V divided by L. So you can see that uh, current divided by area is sigma delta V over L. So we can write <coughs> delta V as uh, L times I divided by sigma A. It is L length of the conductor multiplied with the current divided by electrical conductivity and area. <coughs> now we define L divided by sigma A as R, L divided by sigma A, or rho electrical resistivity L over A. So this R is called resistance, and the resistivity rho is 1 over the electrical conductivity sigma it's called electrical resistivity electrical resistivity and we see that with this definition of resistance r is called resistance it is measured in units of ohms so that the resistivity, <coughs> this is in meters, this is a meter square. So resistivity over a meter is ohm. So it's ohm meters. Resistivity is measured as I units in ohm meters. Uh, electrical conductivity is one over resistivity, ohm inverse times meter inverse. Ohm inverse is called Siemens. It's Siemens per meter. And Ohm inverse is also called Muhos. So it's uh, like Ohm uh, written in the reverse direction, Muho. Muhos per meter.
that's another unit for electrical conductivity and the resistance circuit symbol is basically given by uh, this symbol you can see here it's uh, basically like a triangular uh, way now with this definition of resistance the potential difference between the two ends delta v is equal to the current i multiplied by the resistance r so ohm's law can be written as current density equals electrical conductivity times electric field or the potential difference is equal to current times the resistance so these two are shown to be equivalent so we talked about definition of current density it's the current per perpendicular area it, which is equal to q and v drift according to our model measured in amperes per meter square in most ohmic metals and many other materials j is directly proportional to electric field e it is sigma times e so you can see that there are some non-ohmic materials as well so this is not a general rule so this is the typical case ohm's law states that if sigma is electrical conductivity j is sigma times electrical electric field the potential difference delta v between two ends of an electrical conductor is related to the electric field e times the distance between the two ends l because electric field remember was minus gradient of the potential which is in one dimension minus dv dx so this gives us electric field times length is equal to potential difference now <clears throat> since the electric field can be replaced by delta v over l in our ohm's law, so current density i over a is sigma times delta v over l you can see that potential difference is li over sigma a if we define l over sigma a as resistance which is also resistivity times l over a if we define electrical resistivity as one over the electrical conductivity we obtain delta v is equal to i times r which is also another way of writing ohm's law resistance has a circuit symbol uh, given by this uh, symbol here it's measured in ohms resistivity in ohm meters electrical conductivity in ohm in ohm uh, inverse meter inverse or siemens per meter or moles per meter